it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> I just got home, so... Which might sound a bit weird. It's There's an hour to go, but... I was watching an earlier fireworks display. And left before it got too crowded. But it was nice. Sorry, I'll be able to see more fireworks if I really want to. I can just look out the window, but... Crowds were massive. So, I'll do this for a bit. Since it has a countdown and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go to the store right away because it's going to close in four minutes. Very quickly. And I got to sell the stuff. Okay. This is just all the stuff I couldn't sell yesterday. I did check how much turnips were this morning and they were too expensive, so... Did not buy. What is this? Lab chair? Sure. Don't think I'm gonna use it, but sure. Freezer. I wanted a TV. I put this at Scoot's gym right now. Other than that, I think we're good. Excuse me. I like the way Animal Crossing does the countdown. Okay, I gotta get into the proper attire. Awkward. Alright, and then progression with roses. dress in the game show outfit. I mean, I guess because it's summer here, it's just dress accordingly. shorts yeah Give me a sec. 
Take off glasses, take off bag. Okay. Wait, I didn't sell everything. Oh, well, it's too late now. I don't know how I managed that. It's fine. I shall hang on to the fish. Here we go. Hello everyone, please come celebrate the countdown with us during the new year. Come on time. I should have it so the stores are open late tonight. Okay, well, I have a couple of things to place. because I have the customization kits. Customize. All right, I gotta open them. the kits. Customize. Nice. I have some registers I can play, so... Slightly but surely making everything more legit. Oh, more. Okay. Oh, this is facing the other way. Hang on. That's that. I don't think that's authentic. Well, let me get the daily stuff out of the way. Oh. Okay, I guess there's gyrods. But it should kill time until midnight.
so happy about these flowers. Oh, cool, another hybrid red. All right, I'll go put it with the others. Took an eternity to get these colors. Um, this is another hybrid red. There's already fireworks going off. Well, what I've noticed is they're doing a lot of pre-midnight fireworks displays now. Just to... That's kind of smart, because then people with families can come, can go there sooner. And they can see fireworks and then leave, so it doesn't make the city as crowded. It's still crowded, but... It just means there's more than one fireworks show you can catch. Oh, hybrid purple. Neat. Okay, um, that goes here. And this goes here. I'll go take this to the other area. Whoa! I have not seen one of these in a while. Where'd it go? It went inside the house. I think it vanished. <laughs> I kind of forgot they existed for a minute. Hey, Scoot. Nice glasses. Close, close, right? Yeah, they should have it open later. It's okay. Let me go look for fossils. So I guess today is I'm gonna do the daily stuff, and I guess closer to the countdown, just reflecting on this year a little bit. If you'll indulge me. You slept 13 hours and good morning. Hello, good morning. Pre New Year stuff. I've got like less than an hour to go. It's that magical time of year where I can tell people to stop living in the past. <laughs> goal is to get more green. I should plant this here. Get rid of this. I would imagine what I would want to do, if I'm not mistaken, would be to move this here. I, I know that it involves hybrid purple, so we'll see how this pans out. This can go... Same with this, don't really need this, that's not hybrid red. Keep the blues. The blue is a nice color. Okay. 
fossil hunt. get rid of that rock. It's in the way of my flowers. Oh, it's another gyroid. I only found two. Oh, it's because these gyroids. Hang on, let me pop in here and see if they're crafting. <laughs> I think the funny thing is just... Tomorrow is my stream anniversary, technically. I had the great idea of starting to stream on New Year's Day, which probably wasn't the best idea in retrospect. I suppose it puts lots of pressure on, like, thinking about doing something. Where is this last fossil? Probably walk past it a bunch of times. There's less places it can be now. See, that's just gonna get in the way. the stream started as soon as your phone charged and was turned on. Ah, oh, that's just timing. I just walked in the door and put down my stuff. I was debating whether or not to do anything, but I figured, ah, I mean... Nothing else, it'll be a video for YouTube later. Uh, where am I gonna put this? I guess here? Yeah. It's good to go over the last year. 
I'll talk about the games that I enjoy, the games that are memorable, and maybe a, bit, a little bit about the, the games that may not have necessarily have been so great. Though, I don't think there were many, it's just, this year was pretty stacked when it comes to games. It was kind of crazy, you had a mix of amazing games releasing, but also you had just some games that were just <laughs> some of the most rushed and horrible games we've seen in a while. Ki kind of insane that just got both a mix of things that were just amazing, but also things that were just on the opposite end. Some I got to experience, some I got to watch. Like that Lord of the Ring Golem game, holy crap. I was really waiting for that to go on PlayStation Plus, so I could play it, but it never did, and I cancelled PlayStation Plus just because of the price increase, so didn't get to experience it. It would have been funny. Oh, here it is. <laughs> But this year, I think it's the most games I've played in a, in a single year of streaming. Just the sheer number of games I played this year was very extensive. Others <laughs> couldn't give me. Come on. Couldn't give me the fossils after. I'm gonna have to put some of this stuff away. Because I can't sell. I mean, I guess I could. It's just. It's fine. Okay, coffee time. Coffee at 11 p.m., why not? People are already dying to see 2025, just want 2024 to pass on. 2023 has had its ups and downs in games and movies. I hope 2024 is exciting, it doesn't bore. See... I think... It's good. There's gonna- there's some good stuff coming out next year. There is. But I don't think it's gonna be nearly as stacked as this year. I think... The reason this year was stacked was just because of the pandemic, where it just delayed a bunch of things, and so what it did is it caused the pileup, and the pileup finally cleared out in 2023. So... There's still going to be a lot of good things. I'm really looking forward to Silk Song. Uh, I gotta play through Hollow Knight soon. Um, I'm, I'm excited for Silk Song. That's definitely a title that I'm looking forward to. But also, I mean, Nintendo, without question, is going to announce a new console next year. Because right now, the titles that they have that are on the horizon, they're just remakes or something minor. There's no major game for the Switch coming out in the next six months. So I would imagine sometime early next year, 
they're gonna talk about what they're doing next, so that's gonna be cool. Yeah, 2025, it's just because GTA, and it's like, well, that's fine. Oh yeah, I was going to put that at the gym. I don't know if the serene painting was real. Hard to say. Well, this is temporary until I can get a better TV. Oh, good. <laughs> Hang on. Um, that's the idea. Oh, it does the whole inserting type thing, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get to the watering of the plants. I think at the very least it'll be interesting with the lineup of Nintendo's new console. Imagine they have a bunch of stuff just up their sleeve. cleaned up. I'll sell the other stuff. I'm so happy that I finally got this this purple <laughs> flower. It happened before the the year wrapped up. I actually took two months of work. Happy New Year. Happy New Year too, Nectar. I got less than an hour to go. Like, what, 35 minutes? How's it going? Hey. Going well, good to hear. Got anything planned for tomorrow? Later today, I can't remember the time zone. <laughs> so then the next cool, cool. Playing Yoshi's Island. Oh, he did say he was playing Yoshi's Island. Steam Deck. Oh, that's nice. It's close to the Switch as you can get. Probably better, to be honest. I had fun playing through that again. Still remains to be one of my favorite games. Except for that one level, but we don't talk about that one level. <laughs> I haven't really twi tried Twitch. I mean, it's alright. The Joy-Cons, they're not the greatest. The one hope I have is whatever they do next, they just give us better controls. They're not great controls. Mm -hmm. 
they have like a third party controller that is a lot more comfortable and better. I'll get through the watering and then I'll I'll talk about this last year of stuff that I played. I'll talk about the stuff that I enjoyed. Have I tried Subnautica? I have not, no. It's another one of those games that's been on my radar, but I haven't really, really looked into it. I'll tell you one game I'm gonna play is like, Near Automata, because he gifted that to me, and I just, I haven't gotten around to it, so I'm making time for it since there's going to be a, a period where, uh, well, there's nothing coming out. It's going to be... Okay, The Last of Us Remastered comes out in the second week of January, but am I going to jump on that right away? Probably not. Like, part two remastered. Um, but I'm going to get to Neo Automata, and then there's a Wario game that I haven't played, the GameCube one. That's actually going to be, like, the first thing off the bat for New Year's, so. It's a pretty short game, I've never played it, but it has, I think, the second most voice acting Charles Martinet did for Wario, so. It's a bit of a silly game, looking forward to it. So those two are, like, the things that I'm going to play right away, because... Yakuza is done now. I finished that last night. So, everything is wrapped up with the exception of this, because this is ongoing, and um, Baldur's Gate, which just got to make more time with Lolo to play that. But everything else has been, yeah, neat. Neatly wrapped up. I really, really enjoyed the story to this Yakuza game. The gameplay was, uh, was good as well, just... I think the only reason it's not the number one for me is just because that first experience with that first game, just being so dumbfounded by some of the random things I had to do, it just, I won't get that feeling again. Even though both are pretty equal in terms of just how much fun I had. It's hard to find time for both. Yeah, I mean, he's got his own thing, you know. He works, and I get it. But we make time whenever we can. But, uh, yeah, amongst that... Hollow Knight is going to be something that I'll play through again, because Silk Song is sometime this year coming up, so... That'll be fun. Um, I'm kind of doing a, a few things. It's, I guess, games that I played earlier on when I started streaming, or didn't get to stream. I'll be doing playthroughs of them. So, Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey is coming. Probably off the Warrior, to be honest, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm at, I'm fine with Silk Song being delayed. It just means it's gonna be... Given how good... Hollow Knight was, and just how much polish and quality it had, it's, it's fine if it takes longer. I imagine the scope of it just grew and kept growing, because it was originally supposed to be a DLC, and then it just became its own thing, so. So those are the games you can expect pretty much right away. And now that I have the upscaler, it's just so much easier. I just stream at one quality. I fixed all my recording problems. <laughs> oh man, that was a headache. But everything is 
Ah. Just November, December. November, early December was just so hectic for me. With work being busy, the move, and getting the new computer, then just kind of getting everything set up, and... We're now going to be 4K as a standard for pretty much everything. With the only exception probably being when I play DS games, because they'll just look blurry if I output them at 4K. But other than that, everything is 4K when it gets uploaded to YouTube. And if Twitch gets their, their crap together, then maybe the stream will be 4K too. We'll see. But I'm very happy with how things are like... At least from a visual and technical standpoint. We do try to make everything look and sound as nice as it can. Is that everything? But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Odyssey. Because it's been... I haven't played it since it first came out, and I played it during a time period where I'm... It was... Man. It really doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but it was a long time ago. Um... It was when I first moved to the city and just the place I moved into, it didn't have an <laughs> it didn't have an internet connection. And I was stuck for three months without internet and I was just using my cell phones, um, data. It sucked. So I played Odyssey during that time period and Stardew. Those were the two games that got me through that period. So I never got to stream Odyssey. So now I'll get to stream it and it'll be in 4K, so it'll be cool. Animal Crossing will continue until I finish this island indeterminate amount of time. It's like, well, when I feel like this island is done, then we're done. At the very least, I should get through the Happy Home DLC because I never did originally. I'm just checking if I got all the flowers. But uh, Stardew's got a big update coming out. Terraria's got a big update coming out. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting another one of those games that I just have sunk so much time into. Something else has an update. I forget what has an update. Now that I'm settled into the new place, I'm gonna try to get more videos out to the other channel. I've been working on one, and um, it's getting there. It's a shorter one, but hopefully it's something that I get to do more stuff on. So I just gotta finish it up. But I do wanna do more stuff over on the other YouTube channel. Just, I did the Zelda thing, it was fun. But then I had to move, and <laughs> that kind of derailed everything, just... Ah, preparing for that, and then just, it was busy with work, and I just couldn't... At the end of every day, I just wanted to chill and play games, and not really... ...burn out from just doing too many things. been a few times since the first week that I've just like fallen asleep on the couch I think it's just my body caught up to me <laughs> it's just like okay man you can relax relax now and just yeah fell asleep on the couch Yeah. 
I'm overall I'm happy with the move. By the way, with the move. Let me tell you about the bullets I've dodged with the move. It's actually definitely for the best. I mean, the whole story is like the reason it happened in the first place was just there were some things when it came to maintenance that the dude that owned the place was avoiding. One of them was very, very minor and whatever, you could live with it. But then, you know, when the kitchen's range hood wasn't working, that was something that needed to get fixed and the dude avoided it. Didn't want to fix it and then just told me that the rent was rising and then decided to sell the place. So the update since that is um, basically the guy couldn't sell the place. All right. So he got rid of the real estate agency that was covering it and swapped to another real estate agency, which was the real estate agency I had when um, I first moved to the city. And they were not great. Like, they were really picky. One time, there was a single empty bottle next to uh, a bin, and they complained there was trash on the floor. Like, made a big deal out of it, and I had to, like, lodge a formal complaint because the dude was just being really unreasonable about it. Anyway, that aside, that company took over, so I was like, man, lucky. I wouldn't want to have to deal with them again. But then, you know, they put the, the place back on the market for rent. And the rent for that place now is like $300 more than what I'm paying here. So the rent would have gone up by an insane, an insane amount if I would have stayed. Or they would have tried to do it, which means I would have had to have tried to move in December, so I dodged the bullet. I made the right choice by, like, acting on it right away and just going, nah, this dude's dodgy, I'm out of here. So, yeah. Very, very happy with the decision I made. And the place is, is good. I definitely feel- I feel more at home here than I did in the other place. The other place, it just... It got gloomy because there wasn't really much natural light. So, this place gets a lot of natural light, and though parts of it is smaller, I kind of like it like that. And the areas that are larger are the, the bedroom areas, which is much better. So... As much of a hassle as moving was, uh, it was, it was all worth it in the end, so. Okay. I hear the balloon. Hey. Oh, this is an awkward spot. Yeah, the bottle thing, I th it would have happened, I would have told you about it, because it happened in 2017, so it would have been well before we, know we knew each other. It was like when I lived in the house with, um, like, eight different people. So it happened during that era. Nick might remember it, though, because he was around during that time. But I think I've told this story a couple of times on stream. Alright, well. That's all the daily stuff done. So, like I said, this year, um, pretty stacked when it came to games. Like, I opened my, my folder for 2023 and it is ridiculous. Like, the most game I've played so many games this year, way more than any other year, so. Um, yeah, I don't know how I did that, really. I feel like I didn't put, like, I streamed more in 2020, but I don't know. It's hard to gauge it. 2020 is, like, such a blur. Um, but I guess let's, let's go from, like, stuff that was new and notable to me that I enjoyed, so... Um, 
let me just go sort by date modified okay cool yeah so i mean you know i got to check out the stardew mods this year which was a lot of fun um though they were unfinished the fact that they added so much content to that was was pretty cool and that was a highlight i think just gave a breath of fresh air to the game and hopefully more of that stuff comes out so yeah um i played a shooter called cultic at the start of the year and that was a lot of fun it's just visually cool game if you haven't seen it it's like in the style of i guess quake and doom probably more quake than anything but the graphics have been done in a way that just make it seem old and it was pretty cool um of course i went through all the zelda games so you no know, that was fun to visit some of the ones i didn't play like wind waker um playing that for the first time was a lot of fun i think one of the big highlights of the year in terms of new games pizza tower so much zelda not really <laughs> As a percentage, the Zelda games didn't really make up that much. I think it was there was just a two-month period where I kind of panicked and was like, shit, I'm not going to get them done before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. But they have so many. Yeah, I mean, the franchise has been going for over 30 years. So. It's one of my favorite series, so it was fun to go through them. But, I mean, to make up for it, there was a bunch of other retro games that I got to check out. Uh, Pizza Tower is apparently getting a DLC next year, which features new characters, so I'll probably check out more of that then. Um, Pizza Tower was amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite games for this year. Because, you know, I love the Warrior Land series. No surprise, like, one of my favorite games growing up. And Nintendo has neglected it for a really long time. It, the last one was on the Wii, and just that game. It played like Warrior Land, but then it was its own thing because its art style, it was like a cartoon show from the 90s, and I just loved every minute of that game. Just definitely a highlight of this year. Um, Valentine's Day had Catherine. <laughs> that, that game, um, yeah. It was, it was certainly a game. I enjoyed it. Um, but a weird one, anyway. There were... Oh, right. I played rhythm games. I played rhythm games this year. I played melatonin. That was, that was something. Um, and just, I guess, I put in a bunch of random little games. Uh... Every now and then. So Mel Melatonin was like definitely one of those random titles where it's probably not something that I would normally play. But it was neat. Uh, I'm not great at it, but it was fun. Uh, little Gator Game was another one. It was just a neat little chill game. Um, I tried YouTube streaming for a while. It, though I really want it to work out. It's just... I think YouTube streaming from a video perspective is superior, it's just the problems it has is just... To find a live stream it's so hard, and notifications, and even going live is just a pain, so... I did try some stuff on there, but it just... Didn't work out. Maybe in future I can look into it again, but... For now, I've, I've let it be, because... It just wasn't really panning out. But I did Garfield card over there, so if you missed that stream... That was fun. Um, I got just as salty as I did with Crash Team Racing with that game. I got more viewers there, I think. I don't think I did. It depends on what I was playing. I think at the start it was just because people from here turned up, but then it sort of faded out over time, so. I, I looked at the numbers for it, and Twitch was definitely better on average overall I mean the rewatch is one thing I, I meant the live streams like the replays were fine um, they they did okay the VODs channel though has been doing pretty well lately like I'm pretty happy that people are using that so you know I always do mention the YouTube thing <laughs> at the end of each one 
But sincerely, thank you if you do watch content over there. Um, it does give me more motivation to do more stuff. So, yeah, it's it means a lot. Uh, what else have we got in this folder? I'm just looking at the list of things that I played. Uh, I mean, I tried... When events were on, I tried to do, like, videos where I was watching the content, and I think they're fine. I might do more of that next year, but... I didn't do the Game Awards because they're long and they happen during work hours, and yeah, I guess I didn't do that one. But a lot of retro games. I did the Donkey Kong Trilogy, which... I got to play Donkey Kong Country 2 for the first time. <laughs> that was fun. It was uh, excruciating with a couple of levels, but overall, the game was fun. But Donkey Kong Country 3 is still better. <laughs> I love saying that. Just like, immediately people are like, What do you mean? No. Um, I finished Bridge Construct the Portal after like, over a year of just it being on and off, so that got wrapped up. Banjo-Kazooie, oh man. Okay. That game... I can see why people talked it up. It's a good game, it's just... I think I would have appreciated it a lot more growing up with it, so... Yeah. Bridge Construct the Portal was long-winded, but it, the problem was some of those stages were taking like 40 minutes, so that's why it was difficult. I really needed to be in the mood for it. Uh, but yeah, Retro got a lot of love, like the Mickey Mouse game, um, I did Super Mario World. I did a proper playthrough of Pokemon Red, which catching all 151, that was fun. Super Mario Land, Warrior Land. I, wow, I played a lot of Warrior Land this year, actually. The Mario E-Reader levels. Ooh, just what I needed! <laughs> Proteus, Mega Man, um, Metroid 1. And then... I think people... I, the thing is, you would think retro is just for the older people in chat, but there are people that... A younger that have requested that I play more retro games because it's games that they couldn't play themselves. Parodius was fun. That's that's a favorite of mine. Um, and yeah, I've been just going back through games that I played very early on that um, pe well people just wouldn't have caught because just I didn't have many viewers back then. So like, I played through Captain Toad again. Um, I mean, this is... even this. This is like another playthrough of it, a proper one. Where I'm actually taking attention to detail with the design of the island, so... Yeah. Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh, such a nice, nice game. Uh, but... Other stuff, I mean, Super Mario RPG and uh, Sea of Stars, The Last of Us, I, games that I've just been asked about constantly, <laughs> so it was good to play them. Pikmin, checked out Pikmin for the first time, so you'll definitely see more of Pikmin. I should play the other ones, so you'll see more of them. The big, one of the big titles for me this year, Mario Wonder. Um, though Final Fantasy 16 didn't get too much interest, uh, I enjoyed it. I think it was a visually nice looking game, and the story was short as far as Final Fantasy games go, and yeah, it was the sweet spot for it. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, really, really enjoyed that one. Um, I want to check out more in that franchise, so you can expect more of that. And then, you know, we continue Kiryu's adventures. So, we got to see the one that took place in um, the Samurai era and, you know, the most recent one. 
which coincidentally ended up being a Christmas game. That was, that was great. Tunic, which was probably, this year, I, I guess I didn't really play anything that was causing me suffering, you know? Usually every year I'm doing something that is extremely difficult, and I'm hitting my head against this, a brick wall, but that didn't happen this year. I'd say the hardest things I played this year was probably Tunic and uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Believe it or not, I didn't do anything that was, yeah, difficult, really. Like, I'm looking at this list and there's nothing that's like, oh wow, that was suffering. Okay, maybe the last fight in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, that took two streams to do. That last fight was insane. But, I don't know, it's not really hard overall. But, um, for next year... I have gotten Blasphem Blasphemous. I got Blasphemous 1 and 2, so two Souls-like game. And also a third game that I'm not going to talk about now, because I know it's going to be hard, and I want to be sure that I want to play it. <laughs> but we'll get to that at some point next year. Um, I mean, there's other stuff, like... If I just select the folders here... 80, 85 folders representing a game per folder. So, that's the level of stuff I played this year. Which, pretty insane. Um, yeah. But, to summarize, like, my favorite games this year. Mario Wonder, Pizza Tower. Though I didn't play much Baldur's Gate 3. Really good game. Um how in-depth that game is and just the storytelling and the world building it does is is really good and just refreshing to see a game that isn't riddled with microtransactions and doesn't just try to constantly get money from you like yeah brings us memories of simpler times metroid prime how did i forget about that the Metroid Prime remaster was excellent. I had not played Metroid Prime 1, but just visually it looked great. It ran at 60 frames a second. It was cheap, like as far as Nintendo games go, and it was just a really solid remaster. It was great. That was a surprise because it just suddenly came out of nowhere and they were like, oh yeah, it's released. Go, go play it. Pretty insane that they just dropped that one out of nowhere. The uh, We Love Katamari game. I love Katamari Damacy, so having another game like that, that was fun. And of course, the soundtrack to that game gets constant rotation here. Um, yeah, and then just. I tried to balance it. There were a bunch of games that were just chill, so like a little to the left and. Pull blocks. I just. I tried to vary things up as much as I could. Though it did feel like it was only Zelda for a month or two. <laughs> um, the cats game. I mean, finding those cats. That was like this month. And. Yeah, I guess that's... I mean, those are the memories I remember. There's other stuff as well, but... You got a little to the left too, cute one. They have a DLC for it. I haven't checked it out yet. Um... And New Leaf. Oh, I forgot about New Leaf. New Leaf was really fun to check out. Um, though I haven't played it as much as this... I did enough to get that the hang of it. New Leaf was good. Um, it just makes me want whatever they do with this series next. I say it every time I play this practically, but just whatever they do next with this, it needs to be a mix of New Leaf and this. New Leaf was fun. So. I now understand why people said that New Leaf was uh, better. I definitely do. Uh, yeah. 
Well, there's only three minutes left before I start making jokes about you guys uh, living in the past and uh, how everything you do is so last year. Wait, I don't have one of the one of these. Give me one of these. Yeah, here, give me. Okay, I almost didn't get my light stick. Um. All right, cool. Well, I'll just say, real quick, just, uh, this year was, was a better year for me, personally. I know I don't talk about my personal stuff too much, I try to make this a place where I don't really bring up my personal life too much, um, just because of, I, I guess I want it to be a place where people come to chill, laugh, and just maybe... Forget about whatever shit's going on in their life. Uh, but this year was definitely a lot better for me, personally. And it's a mix of just the state of the world being <laughs> not what it was and... <sighs> that period of time we will not name, but... It's also just, uh... Yeah, I think... People coming in saying hi and stopping by, and I guess also people getting along with one another, outside of me. It's, uh, it's honestly been a highlight of my day, and I do appreciate those that turn up and hang out, and watch me do stupid things. So, particularly those that have stuck around over the years, it's kind of wild to think that, you know, that I have people that have been watching me since... I don't even want to think. Tomorrow is my stream anniversary, by the way. Which, good decision on that. Um, but also over on YouTube, uh, just... The channel for the VODs has been... Getting more viewership lately, and, you know, that just means... It, it, I know it sounds bad to try and put a number behind it and go, Oh, wow, I'm getting numbers. I feel motivated. But it does does make me happy that people are genuinely enjoying it, and I do get anonymous messages from time to time. Not many, but some that say that, you know, just me doing random shit helps them chill. And I just want you to know that that does mean a lot, so I'm happy that I can keep producing and making this kind of content for you. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do some more fun stuff in the new year. At least when you guys get there, like, I don't know. It might be a while, so... I'm just gonna say thank you so much for 2023. For continuing to watch my stuff, or if you are new and discovered me this year. Yeah, hope you had fun, and I do appreciate you all for uh, giving me a creative outlet. And more importantly... Like, uh... Hang on, let's just get through this. Stop living in the past. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm officially in a whole new year now. You can hear the fireworks in the background. Well, yeah. I love how happy they are. There we go. I don't think they do anything else. Uh, but yeah, as I was, I was just saying, just, uh... Thanks for letting me do my thing, you know? Though, I might not have much here, I... It does mean a lot to me, to be able to do this on a regular basis and... Just have people hang out and chill and yeah. Getting to talk to people that I probably would have never met otherwise, so. Thank you so much. Alright. <laughs> I can't really do a whole lot else. Oh, what? The camera's stuck here. 
I guess I'm here for like the next minute, huh? But yeah, this year I'm gonna try and balance things out a little more. Um, I guess what I mean by that is like I haven't really... I've been taking one night off a week. And that's been good. It's allowed me to kind of uh, chill and just focus on other things. So I'm going to try to do more of that and just make more time for myself. Uh, but also because I want to just try make more, more content, I guess. I have fun making that kind of stuff, but I think I just need to balance it out a bit better. So, we'll see. It's not to say you might see less of me, but you might see less of me. <laughs> just not in the way you think. Uh, yeah. Not sad or anything. It's just... I want to try and make stuff that people watch. Oh yeah, I have these. Yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary, thanks. Yeah. It was like how long ago was it? I don't seven? This is seven now? I think this is seven. Seven years. Pretty sure it's seven. Just decided on New Year's Day to just give streaming a go. Did not really think I'd be doing it as long as I have though. <laughs> If I'm being honest. But I think the thing that keeps me going is just people hanging out and just every now and then just I hear the thing where it's just like just me playing games and talking about dumb stuff or, or food. Don't forget the food. It just helps people relax and... I don't know. It's, it's humbling and I guess it just... Makes me want to do more of it. Chicken. Yeah, I had that for dinner. I got some really good chicken wings for dinner. Like, actually really, really good. I have some left over, so tomorrow it's like having that with some rice. I'm all set. If things weren't like closed now, I'd probably do more, but I think you can still do Happy Home. I suppose I should set up a, like, thumbnail. Wait, why? <laughs> he made that face. Like, what are you doing? I think one cool thing that happened... They're very minor. Um, just actually being offered a code for Vampire Survivors is like, oh, I almost never would have, would have expected that. So, like some form of growth. Being considered to be given stuff. Not that I want to be given stuff. I'm not asking for it, but it's nice. Why didn't I pick that up? Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, right. 
Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Because it's officially January now, so now January stuff has started appearing. Maybe I can catch that, that fish that I looked for and couldn't find. Does Blathers have, like, a New Year's message? Let's learn about the walking leaf. What a fraud. What a phony. The walking leaf is, in fact, the very embodiment of a lie. This master mimic looks like a tree leaf all the way down to the tiniest details. In fact, this bug has been known to sway to and fro as it walks. Just so. It looks like a leaf blown by the wind. And the fakery works. These insects look so much like leaves that even leaf-eating insects nibble on them. Liars, indeed. Happy New Year's, Blathers. I think we'll just... I don't want to talk too much about the games that I plan to play, but like... At the very least, the, the stuff that's lined up, it's... Things that I'm revisiting from 2017, so Hollow Knight... Uh, Mario Odyssey, and then things that I should have played a while ago. <laughs> but also Wario Land, well, Wario World, my apologies, is something new. It should be fun. It's all in preparation because I want to do a video talking about that series. I got to do the impersonation more. But that's always fun. I'll tell you what, I... I purchased the Crash Bandicoot trilogy for PC. So, like, I'm gonna probably subject myself to that at some point. I do have it on PlayStation, but from what I've heard, it, they didn't do anything to make it run better on the PS5. They were lazy about it, so... I want it to look nice, I guess. Yeah, PC version it is. Oh yeah, Celeste. That was another title. But, um... Again, just something that I played early on, and... Just revisiting it. Enough time has passed. And I don't- it's not like I have footage of those playthroughs anyway. Like... Uh, <sighs> Though I've been streaming for seven years, technically, it's really five because I streamed for about a year and then the second year was just three months of nothing because I couldn't for the internet connection thing and then just really bad internet. So I, it was just not great. Pretty much when I moved into the last place that I lived in, that's... And I feel like, yeah, things, things are good. I'm just seeing who's around. Oh, Kit's here. Alright, but no, I already moved Kit in. I need to find a theme that involves pets, so then... 
thematically I can purchase the the doghouse. Pretzels? Just normal pretzels? Sorry. Okay, just, I like the design of this, but <laughs> the layout admittedly causes traffic issues. Minecart. Um, yeah, other than that, not really. What's the exchange rate today? Nah, it's too expensive. Anything over 300? No, thank you. Well, I'm out of the New Year's hat. Oh, a hospital. Alright. I guess we're designing a hospital. I haven't done this, so this is new. I mean, am I boring to... to deviate... to say I don't want to deviate from this? This to me is a hospital. What, what? Where's red? There's no red one. I guess we'll stick with that. That's fine. That's more like a medical center to me. Suppose I should now update the stream title. <laughs> Since, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just changed it to 2024. A waiting area and an examination room. Oh. Well, these are pretty small rooms. Where's my phone? I need to set a timer. I may not have brought it into this room with me. Hold on. It might be on the counter. It's okay. It was behind me. <laughs> Disregard. Uh, I'll say, so it adds up to half an hour. I'll say 15 minutes. Happy New Year for me. Thank you, Witch Patricia. Happy New Year for you as well. It just happened, so I'm now in a whole new year. Okay, 15 minutes I'll do, so it adds up to half an hour. You have 10 hours to go. Ah. This is the time of year where I always make the joke. You need to stop living in the past. <laughs> but I love it. Okay, 15 minutes, go. And then just, no matter what you do, I'll just be like, that's so last year. That is so last year. Uh, 
I mean, hospital waiting rooms are generally pretty boring. Germany lives in the past. I mean, most countries when compared to Australia live in the past. The only country that's ahead of us is New Zealand by an hour. Oh yeah, double clock, yeah. Yeah, yeah, double clock, that's what I wanted. Okay, so this is the waiting room, so... Oh, you can make it slightly bigger. Make it slightly bigger. Got any plans for New Year's or just chillin'? Go with these. It's gonna be a straightforward waiting room. I'm not gonna deviate from it too much. I'm gonna convert these video- well, just me building stuff, and I'm gonna time-lapse it so it's quicker. And then I'm just gonna make little short videos of it. It's not that much effort on my part. I'll make two counters. So one is a store, and the other one is going to be the actual counter. I'll make this work. I'll do this, actually. Uh, at least it has more room. Uh, I want this. Just go with that. That's better. This is more waiting room style. Um... For realization. On a vending machine. I will do. 
Really? Hang on, move it forward. There we go. And I'll get a snack machine as well. Assuming I can find one. I mean, otherwise, if there's balloons or something, I might do that. The balloon car wouldn't be bad. Stack, that's fine. Oh, I should have got on the computer. It's sad that I can't place it in the middle, but okay. Uh Waiting room. Just change the magazine types. Phone, hold on. Cash register. Wait, really? Okay, hold on. Did I miss that? I'm surprised the snack machine isn't here. I probably missed it. Popcorn. Yeah, have some popcorn. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Science pod. Wait, there's really no... Or balloon cart? Oh, no, here it is. Balloon cart. Yeah. Like, by... Okay, hold on. These are like, get well soon balloons. That'll do. They're not like, go have a party balloons. <laughs> Do that, that's fine. Locks it off. Um... Need stuff to put on these tables. Something like magazines, I don't think putting food on there makes much sense. This also works. Like, I can do this. Get a magazine that's open. Do the same here. I mean, also, as far as waiting rooms go, this is going to be pretty basic. 
Okay, TV. So I'll probably be playing the same thing. The doctor's offices I've been to, they all typically play the same thing. Okay. And uh, there's multiple clocks. Usually one on each wall. Okay, um... That. Gonna do my old reliable. I didn't customize the wall, I think the wall's fine. Hey, Star, how's it going? Jeez, it's felt like forever since I last saw you. What was it, last year? Last time I, I talked to you was in 2023. <laughs> I told you I was going to do this. I'm sorry, not sorry. How's, uh, morning? Question mark going? <laughs> Are you still up? Oh yeah, lights. I mean, lights for... This is a hospital, so... It's not gonna go fancy, really. It's just... We can do this. This will work. It's like, yeah, just head that way. You usually see these signs in the hospital. Still up attempting to fix your sleep schedule. Good luck. They do, like, weather forecasts. Do they have anything that looks medical? Is that a BSOD? Looks like a BSOD. This is a hospital. Yeah, I mean, this is a waiting room reception area. I feel like I've done the right thing. It has more or less the essentials. can I add? There's really not... Really not a whole lot when it comes to wall options. It's just, well... I'll just do this. That's fine. Climb up. That scared the crap out of me. I forgot that I put that... <laughs> it's okay. Alright, that's fine. Shame there was no snack machine, but I think that's fine. It's like a gift shop. And the shelf does have snacks on it, so that's fine. It's going to not really look 
very fancy, it's just gonna be functional. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is an examination room. Oh, this is tiny. This is more like a, a GP than a hospital. Can I make this bigger? Oh, I can. Okay, I guess I can... Let's just move this to the corner as a starting point. Okay. This one, 15 minutes. Let's go. Okay. Too big. What's the small tiles? One by one, thank you. That's fine. I'm gonna make this a carpeted area. I mean, even that, that's okay. Okay, it's slightly bigger. Move it down. Get a wall. That works, sort of. I forgot how they said corners were done in this. I think it's something like this. Sure. <laughs> Is that functional? I guess. I feel like it needs to be moved out just one more. So then this opening's real. Yeah, it's better. Alright, so that's an actual doctor's office. change the flooring. Oh yeah, nothing screams hospital more than sand. Apparently, patient ward flooring. That's better. Okay, walls. Let's see what else we got for walls. Um, This is not going to work as well as I think it will. Didn't work. Or will it? Hold on. Oh. Yeah, okay, that works. I'm just trying to hide it. Yep, yeah, cool. Alright, um, let's get stuff out. A stool? Apparently I need a stool. Okay, so... I think I'm 
might be just overcomplicating it. Give me a minute. So we got after a few more bills you get to add a patient ward. Oh, well. <laughs> That's fine. They can uh We'll just go with this for now. I think what I'll do is I'll restrict it to three. So then at least you have the ability to have a chair in the room. That's one extra. This goes here. Okay, that's better. this way. Oh, what? It's... Okay, whatever. It's fine. This is just for show. It's not like you can read it. Um... I need a comfortable chair. I can convert it later if I want to something else. Lab chair. I need a single seat. Baby chair. It's probably the best I can do. Arm chair. Armchair and armchair. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I screwed myself <laughs> with the sign. Hold on. This is pretty ambitious of me, but it does work. Up there. And that. Yeah.
Don't worry, I won't, I won't put a TV on this one. I will withhold the urge to do so. <laughs> Sure. I mean, it's off center, but it's fine. So that's a bathroom. It's like a very minimal one, but sure. Okay, now doctor's office. Um,. We have exam table. I guess it's usually like this. This is usually right next to it. Try and step through the stuff, so we'll see how we go. Let's just put some general stuff in the room. It's like, yeah, this stuff would be here. Examination stuff. Gotta show off all the credentials. Much qualification. Lighting. Gonna be basic. Okay, that's fine. I got two minutes to go. Okay, this is the problem, is I wish there was... Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. I can do this. There are ceiling TVs, technically. Um, they're like... They're like this. And we're just gonna ignore the fact that they're showing stock market stuff. These, these are like the TVs. They make sense. Okay, we don't have much time left. Um, exit sign there. Wouldn't be in Australian if I didn't put an air conditioner in. The most important thing. Right, let's just do some quick random decorations around the place just to kind of fill up the area oh really TV. 
They all get a clock. Everyone gets a clock. It's so generous. Speaking of clock, it's time. <laughs> As long as you can squeeze in, that's fine. Okay, it worked. That's, uh, that's a hospital. go here because this room looks better. Oh wait, but I've already got my thumbnail. The thumbnail is the New Year's stuff. <laughs> That's a doctor, the receptionist. Hang on. Who's a good receptionist? That's a nice duo. <laughs> Dr. Mouse. Oh yeah, all right. A name for it. Um... I don't know what to call this. I'm not very creative right now because it's like almost 1 a.m. I'm gonna be bad at naming things. Hmm, I guess it doesn't have to be clever. Because the other one was just like no frozen food here, no syrup here. So I guess I'll stick to the theme, no. No stolen kidneys here. <laughs> I don't think that'll fit. But I like the thinking. No stolen kidneys is so last year. This is 2024, this name. Ah, uh, get used to it. You just have, what, like seven-ish hours until I can start making that joke? Did I do anything for New York? Given that I'm playing Animal Crossing at one in the morning, no. <laughs> that being said, I did go check out an early fireworks display with my niece and brother and pop brother's partner. Fifteen-ish hours, damn. I really am from the future, huh? Okay, is everyone here because they're injured? I don't like how full this is. Got a bunch of hypochondriacs here.
<laughs> Waving happily, but then goes back to being sad. They don't say anything. It's good. I like it. It's functional. Go in on Monday for a surprise. Monday? As in today? Later today? The creation of this hospital, Little Island, is a little bit safer today. Yay, no injuries here. <laughs> I'm so excited about how everything is coming along. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating. No injuries here. We did it. It's fine. If a client or star member falls ill, we can take good care of him. What a relief. True, true, but just be careful to watch what you eat, Lottie. I really made you worry that time, didn't I? Well, I'm all better now. No need to worry anymore. Oh, damn, that's a lot of... Well, I guess because it was two rooms. Yeah, that makes sense. I am finished. Um, I got to the order. I got to order the TV for Scoot's gym. It's like LCD TV, isn't it? There it is. Uh, 50 inch. Let's go with the black one. It's fine. Oh, wait. It's 89,000. Um. Screw it. Should be enough to get me over the line. I don't want to exchange too much. The exchange rate is not good today. Okay, good. It's just enough. All right, cool. That's coming tomorrow. Oh, today. Did I get... I don't think I got the recipe for today from the island. Hang on. I need to look for a bottle. There you are. Oh, oh. I tried. <laughs> I lost my bearings for a sec.
I think they're still partying. We'll see. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> I mean, it's impressive that the fireworks display goes for an hour. I think here it's like roughly half an hour that it goes for. The one I saw earlier was 15 minutes. It wasn't too bad. And by that, I mean it was good. It's just the... Uh, the way Australians say thing. Oh yeah, it was alright, it wasn't too bad, it was pretty good. You can never really express just uh I guess how we actually feel about things. Oh yeah, right, there's new stuff to do now. It's January, so there's new critters. I'll have a look around. I guess while I'm around. I might be able to catch that fish that I was trying to get a couple days back and the wiki was incorrect about it. Yeah, it was nice to reflect on this here, I guess. I think the fireworks display is going to stop now. At 1 a.m. they usually stop. Maybe. In game fireworks. Yeah, they do a countdown and everything. Like I did the countdown here, just Talked about the stuff that I played and just, yeah, thanking people for like a pretty nice year. Just 2023 was better for me. Just, man, since 2020, it just felt like things weren't normal for the longest amount of time and. I think this year was like the first time I started feeling a bit more normal than those long ass three years. was really nice in 2020 because I couldn't really go out in that year and just having this as a virtual way to do the New Year's thing was, was pretty nice. So they cancelled all fireworks here that year just to discourage people from going out. We 
should probably do the Daily Island. I'm still looking for the Golden Armor recipe. Um... I mean, I might just sell these flowers at the drop-off box. It's not like it's going to get me a lot of money anyway. But I guess I'll say it again, just for those that may have missed it. It's just the, the games that I really enjoyed that were new this year. Uh, Pizza Tower, Tears of the Kingdom, which I forgot to mention. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom was fun, but I guess... I don't know. I, I really liked the game, but there were certain things that I was expecting more of, and it just didn't measure up in the story. But the gameplay was excellent. Um, Mario Wonder was a lot of fun. Baldur's Gate, though, I didn't get to experience much of it. Still working through it. Um, that was cool. The Metroid Prime Remaster. That was excellent. And uh, the Like a Dragon Ishin, which was just the Yakuza game, but set in, uh, what do you call it, like Samurai era. That was fun. I think those were the releases. I may have missed one or two in there that were new to this year and were fun to check out. But then the rest were just like a mix of retro games, a mix of stuff that was like on the backlog, a mix of weird shit, chill stuff. I played some weird ass games this year. Like that sumo one comes to mind. And the, uh, the battle simulator. I'll just put these away and I'll just get them out tomorrow and sell them. Yeah, just very thankful that um, both here and YouTube, just I guess people watching and enjoying the stuff, it's like a highlight of my day, it really is. I'm very appreciative that I'm allowed to just do whatever I want and people kind of turn up and watch. Oh, you can see the fireworks in the distance while on the boat. That's cool. That's a nice detail. been cool if he had like a special New Year's song. Oh, it's raining on the island that I'm about to arrive on. <laughs> I interrupted his singing. Oops. Accidentally pressed B. I didn't know he had. He was. He got annoyed if you interrupt his singing. That was rude of me. I apologize. He's so happy. I had to just go ruin it. so terrible at catching these things. Okay, got it. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. I think it was the same one.
It's okay. I got one of them. So, what are you guys gonna do for New Year's? Got any special lined up? All I did was I went and to a Korean place that did burgers and chicken wings, and you can probably guess what I ate. But it was really damn good. And uh, then just caught an earlier fireworks show, because what they're doing here is they're just having an earlier show, so then people can go catch that and don't necessarily have to hang around till midnight in the inner city. That's pretty smart. Then I just came home. <laughs> Started playing this, that's about it. There were a lot of people still, but yeah. Oh, that beetle. I need to catch that beetle. I have eggnog that I should probably finish. I think I've got like a... a just under a month to finish it, but... Is it bad to have it in January? It's like... Oh, I missed! How did I miss? Okay, whatever. That was a first for me trying that. I tried a pumpkin spice latte as well. Or whatever the frappe thing from Starbucks. And Five Guys Burgers. In the name of discussion. I... <laughs> On top of trying eggnog, I tried to make pancakes with eggnog batter. It did not work. You have no idea how bad it was. It was, it was horrible. When I tried to flip the pancake, it got stuck to the spatula. And it just would not come off the spatula. I was smacking it against the frying pan. It just did not work. So, I learned something there. Like, I can cook. <laughs> just that. It was an idea. Oh, scorpion. It's gone. That was an idea where I thought, oh, that might work. It did not. <laughs> Don't try it yourself. It smelt nice, it just did not cook very well. Happy New Year. Thank you, Ade Doyun. If I pronounced that correctly. Happy New Year to you. To you. you too. Scrambles, pancake is my thing. No, the story is for Christmas I tried eggnog for the first time because it's not really a thing in Australia and I guess I went and got some. So I tried it. It was all right. And because I have a bit of it, we were watching Jingle All The Way. It's like an annual tradition is watch that movie. So we were going to watch it. And for the longest time, we were talking about having a pancake party. So I got the pancake mix. And then I thought to myself, hey, what if I use eggnog instead of milk to mix it? Well, it smelt nice, but the first problem was that, um, because I got that stuff where it's, you just put in milk and water and then you just shake it. And the first problem was when I shook it, uh, the, it just did not mix. It just would not mix, so then I got, uh, chopsticks and put them inside and tried to mix it that way. Still wouldn't mix. So, I, uh, I added water. And then it mixed finally. So I was like, alright, cool, this is probably salvaged. And then when I went to cook it, it seemed fine until I tried to flip it and it just got stuck to the, uh, to the spatula. 
I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> it got just fully, fully stuck. I pronounced the name properly. Oh, cool. It's like oil and water. Yeah, I mean, it didn't work out, but that's fine. But at least provide entertainment value to those that saw the video of it. Because <laughs> I just, I could not believe how bad I messed it up that I recorded it. I was like, look at this, look at this, look at how badly I fucked this. I can cook. I, 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 I can cook. Just, I had an idea, I tried it, it didn't work. I learned a lesson. There's probably a way to do it. The eggnog was meh. Don't try that one again. I think you can get the essence of the flavor some other way. Just without using eggnog. I mean, if you... Like, should I... I'll, I'll hang on. <laughs> Give me a sec. I hate that I'm gonna show this, but I'll, I'll show it. Give me a sec. I'm gonna get the video off Discord and I'll, I'll show it. <laughs> I'll embarrass myself ever so slightly. Give me a sec, chat. I'll give, I'll give you all a laugh. Okay. So this is what happens when you put eggnog in your, uh, your pancake mix, okay? So watch. Okay, do you want to know how bad this is? Look. Absolutely fucked. I swear to you, I can cook, I can cook food, I'm not a fucking moron, but that was quite possibly the stupidest thing I did last year. The idea seemed okay, because I was like, you know what, eggnog's got a pretty good flavor, I wonder if I could get that into pancakes. There's a way to do it, I'm sure, just not the way I did. It was dumb. And I pretty much messed up the bottle, like, that bottle was done. I threw out the bottle, because, well, I couldn't make pancakes from it, it's like, well, that's it. <laughs> bottle was dead. But you know what? That's what I'm about here, is like... You laugh at your own mistakes and... You own them. You own up to them. That's kind of nice. You laugh at them. You talk about them. You don't let them consume you, and you just move on. It's all science, right? Like... It would have had to have messed up. A lot of foods to get to the point where we are now. Someday someone's gonna make like eggnog flavored pancakes. And I'll be like, yeah, one one evening on New Year's Eve, I saw this random Australian dude talking about how he fucked up his pancakes, and then I got an idea. And now here I am running this pancake house with specialized pancakes that has 
30,000 stores worldwide. Alright, maybe not like that, but still. Eggnog pancakes are already a thing, then how the fuck did they make them? <laughs> oh, what? What did I do wrong? <laughs> Didn't have regular eggnog. Oh yeah, I had eggnog flavored milk. Yes. Yes. Which, it's not quite eggnog, but it's, I guess, a substitute. But why would that mess it up? If it's flavored milk, it's just flavored milk. Why would milk mess up pancakes? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> there was something in that mix that just didn't go right. It said milk beverage, so it didn't say milk. I should tell my mom about this, she would laugh. The only other kitchen disaster I've had was I want I once made a, a sandwich, using a sandwich press, and I accidentally, um... The, the cable was just too close. And it pressed into the sandwich press, so... Here I'm thinking I'm making a delicious sandwich and then this plume of fire just erupts within 30 seconds. It's alright, nothing bad happened. The, the sandwich press was obviously non-functional after that, but... The sandwich was fine. How's 2024 looking so far? Oh, you know, it's pretty good. I hear, like, the big thing this year is, um, food infused with eggnog. So, I'm kind of a visionary in that regard. What you guys need to do is, like, step up your food game and stop living in the past. Whatever you're eating is so last year. I love that the fireworks are going off as I'm on this boat. It's a nice touch. <laughs> Has anyone else had any food disasters they want to share to make me feel better? Not that I feel bad about it. It was funny. I say that just to get you to share. Oddball table? Okay, my favorite joke from last year was like... Just telling the story of my friend that used to do... Nightclub promotion. It's a dumb, it's a dumb bit, but I just... I imitate his voice. It's my favorite joke of 2023. Well, what's going on? I saw you went out last night. You did New Year's Eve without me, huh? What happened? I thought you were gonna use my name at the door. You paid full price for entry, didn't you? Listen, man, when... Next time you go out, all right, what I want you to do, I want you to bring girls, yeah? And then when you get to the door, you tell them you're on Dave's list, yeah? You got two dollars off entry. You take those two dollars. And you get a discount off your drink, yeah? 
Maybe buy one of those girls a drink. <laughs> oh, man. I should stop doing that. Like, people are gonna get tired of it. Let a pot of potatoes, potatoes boil dry and burn. Oh. That would have been tough to clean. It would have created, like, a layer at the bottom, I imagine. Oh, yeah, I should donate the bugs that I just caught. to shell. Sure, tell me, Blathers. I see, in that case, ahem. Cicadas, the nerve! Not only are they loud, they leave the cicada shells lying about. When it's time for a cicada nymph to turn into an adult, you see, it clings to a tree and sheds its exoskeleton. Then it just leaves this shell of its former self hanging right there. Awful manners, really, and awfully terrifying, too. Okay. Uh, we'll go with the saw stag. Saw stag, what a wretched thing. Alright. Tell us about it. Ah, I see. In that case. The saw stag got its name from the shape of its pincers, that is, its pincers look like jagged saws. And I tell you, the bigger the beetle, the more saw-like teeth its giant jaws have. I say the saw stag seems more at home in the horror film than in nature. I have terrified myself just think talking about it. I could donate all of them at once, but then we wouldn't learn anything. The Horn Dynasty's head is shaped like a samurai warrior's helmet. Hoo -hoo. It would be a most impressive fact if their large size wasn't so horrifying. Adult males use their huge horned heads for fighting and digging, while the females have no such need. As for their larvae and pupae, they, too, are quite large and feed on rotting wood at a tremendous pace. A foul feast, indeed. Why didn't Blathers and Timmy and Tommy have holidays? See, Blathers is running the museum, but Timmy and Tommy, their shop is closed. They should be at the New Year's celebration. That one, less understandable. There are some places that they remain open on New Year's Eve, and... They work all the way through, like, you gotta have your 7-Elevens and whatnot open. And museums. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah, there's no reason they couldn't have been here. I don't know what they're doing. everyone here? I might be able to do the thing where you talk to everyone in one day. Admittedly, I haven't been great with that. Pietro's gonna drop mixtapes. <laughs> I just caught the end of that. 
do like that some of them choose to stay home. having her own party at home. I'll make sure I visit everyone. Oh, Scoot as well. Scoot didn't come outside for the party. Mean there as well. We we'll finish with Scoot's gym tomorrow. I'm pretty happy with it. This will be replaced with a big TV. I have an idea for this, but I can't exactly start it until I'm done with these flower things, but I do have an idea. There's not that many houses left to decorate. The rest is just dispersing the flowers across the island, and I have like a couple other things I want to set up. So I imagine I'll be done with this island sometime in January. I hope. <laughs> this flowers two months of just daily watering and I've only just gotten some of the other hybrids. But I mean a lot of this northern end is almost done. It's just I gotta decorate my house outside. Ooh, hello. Indoors is nice. Like, indoors is done, practically. I just need a little bit more lighting. This looks so good at night. One thing that I learnt uh, recently that apparently is just an Australian thing is like wearing hats at Christmas. Kind of like how that you have a New Year's hat in Australia, we have Christmas hats. And I didn't realize that's not a thing anywhere else. I mean, we don't do them that often, but they're, they're a thing here. Just like New Year's, we wear Christmas hats. And I'm not talking about the the Santa hat. It's like a paper hat. It's almost like a crown. It's like something a kid would wear at a like a a recital or something. Pick ah, uh, hold on. Let me dig it up. That illustrates it perfectly. Okay, one sec. Like this? Jeez, that was... Yeah. And then you have this tradition. It's almost like the bone thing. You pull it and then one person ends up with the bigger side. But the hats are like that. I was like, why is this so tiny? It's not so tiny. It's because this is 4K that I'm capturing the video at. Yeah. 
I thought that was a pretty common thing, but apparently it's just Australian specific. take a nap. Hope you don't sleep the whole day away as you gotta fix your stream stuff. Settings balked? Oh really? And your stream was pixelated. Oh that sucks. Well good luck. Yeah I just got through <laughs> some technical issues on myself with recordings. I can definitely understand how frustrating that is. Especially when you realize it after the fact and you're like uh why? But yeah, happy New Year stuff. I don't catch it tomorrow at some point. Or today. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the best word is right now. Today, right? You stream so long like that and no one was like, your stream looks like poo, man. I think because people can put up... I learned this. People put up with bad video but they won't put up with bad audio. And I know this because for one year, almost one year, I was streaming at 240p <laughs> and people still watched and I was surprised. That was a whole ordeal. Yeah, listen, like, I moved to the city, the house I moved to didn't have internet for three months and then when I got internet, the upload speed was 700 K hey, BPS. Not M. Hey. And I was like, shit, if I stop, if, <laughs> if, like, if I don't stream, well, I just have to build an audience again from scratch. So I tried. And I was like, I, I, no one's gonna watch me. And surprisingly, people still did. So, no one's gonna talk about a crusty video. If your audio is out of whack, that's usually the first thing people complain about. But I understand how much it would bother you. Like, it would it would bother me immensely. I would... I would be quite upset. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess I sh probably should have said something. But I thought it... it sometimes the problem with that is people chalk it up to their internet connection sometimes. You just don't know. So, I just figured, oh, I'm watching on the TV, maybe it's just the TV being derpy, because Twitch on TV sucks. Anyway. Go get some rest. I'll be sure to point it out if it happens again. But yeah. Happy New Year. Thanks for uh, popping in, as always. Also, it was nice meeting you this year as well, so, yeah. The stream always looks so good. Thank you. I have been a long journey to get to this point. <laughs> From 240p to 4k. Well, not quite fully 4k, but YouTube is in 4k. That's the one advantage of watching the VODs over there is now you get the full 4k quality. I'm looking for bugs. Also trying to catch this fish. Yeah, it's like streamer's worst nightmare when video goes wrong. Chat just. Even if you feel like it's on your own end, pointing it out, the streamer will be so grateful.
it's been five days without incident in terms of my VODs on YouTube. Being perfectly fine. It was legitimately bothering me so much that, like, I would upload them and then everything would look okay and then when you go play them it only plays like the first 10 minutes and then cuts off abruptly. I figured out what it was in the end. Um, it's just, without getting too technical, I tried using a new video codec which is really good, but it looks like OBS just doesn't output the file correctly. So I'll check in again in a few months and see if they fix it. But I went to um, another format and the file size is a little bigger, but it's fine. I got the drive space now. It's not like before where I was like <laughs> uninstalling games and having to move things constantly. Like now I actually have storage to work with, so it's not a big problem anymore. I don't want to go dig up bait. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, Arapaima. Or something else. Arapaima. I should probably donate that beetle on here. I figure while while I'm up, just get these these bugs and fish sorted, so then I don't have to stress about it later. Oh, I did catch the sweet fish. I guess while I was talking. All right, never mind. I got it. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Whoops. It's the sweet fish. Well, I'm an idiot. Sweetfish are the damp heralds of summer. These slippery fellows appear in numbers when it warms up. They hatch in a river, then swim to the ocean. Once mature, they return to the river where they were born. But when they return depends on the river temperature. If it's too cold, their fishing season will start later. Some even say summer can't start without sweetfish, despite the key role played by the Earth's axial tilt. There you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Okay. And the Earth Boring Dung Beetle. An earth Boring Dung Beetle, what a wretched thing. Okay. Tell me. Earthboring dung beetles are considered quite handsome by some, thanks to their metallic luster. In fact, some even think them to be good omens and bringers of favorable fortune. But I must protest, these field-ravaging pests love to burrow under piles of dung and lay their eggs. They raise their young under DUNG! Need I say more? Ugh, I think not. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, we fertilize some of our foods with, with poop, <laughs> so. That's just the circle of life, man. See what else I can get while I'm around. Wait, what? I've already been playing this for almost three hours. How did? <laughs> Man, I swear sometimes with this game, just I start playing and then bang, it's suddenly three hours later. In my mind, I was like, oh, I'll play this for an hour or so. I'll talk about 2023.
Yeah, no, no decorating today. Today is just chill. Although I guess I did do that. Never mind. No island decorating. I did a happy home thing just to kill time. It was just a hospital anyway. It's not the most creative thing. But I did the time restriction thing, so. Beatles in particular, because I think from January there's quite a few. That you just look on trees and they're on there. I've gotten a couple of them already. Mess it up. Okay. Scarab beetle. All right, cool. I'm just super impatient with with bugs on trees, so I figured now's a good time to get some of them done. Hang on, is that one? No. Let's learn about this one, shall we? Collectors consider this, oh, the scarab beetle quite the prize thanks to its shiny metallic shell. But did you know this bug has no nose and uses its antennae to sense smells instead? In fact, the scarab beetle's plated antennae is uh, are quite unique and set it apart from other beetles. But all antennae are equally awful in my book. Okay. How is this going? Well, I mean... Compared to the first time I played this game, it is definitely going much better. The bugs, I really did not catch many of them. The only thing I know that I guess is going to be missing ultimately is the... the dung beetle, because they appear in winter, and the problem is... if you visit someone's island who, who's in winter, it doesn't count. They only appear in single player, which is... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I guess if I really want to catch it, I could, like fast forward time the winter just to get it done but that's probably the only bug I won't be able to catch it's a little bit of an oversight everything else you can encounter if you visit someone's island
also learned that apparently if someone visits your island and waters your flowers, there's a better chance for the flowers to give you something. Not necessarily a hybrid, but just for them to produce something. One more lap and look around and see if there's any more bugs on the trees. Ah, oh, what was that? <laughs> I wasn't even running and I got scared. walking. I'm not sure what that was. It's okay. I'm sure I will get it eventually, assuming I don't already have it. gonna leave it here for tonight. It was a nice little trip down memory lane for the year. But I'll say it again, uh, thank you for watching first of all, but also thanks for 2023 in general. Whether you're new or I've been watching for quite some time now, I do appreciate it and I don't say it often enough, but just playing games and just having people hang out and chat, it's honestly... A highlight of my day but also just you know also on YouTube as well just the fact that people are watching and giving a damn about the random stuff I do uh, it does mean a lot and it's you know an outlet that I definitely don't take for granted and you know I'm thankful that I, though I don't have you know an extremely large channel or anything I, I am grateful for what I have so I just wanted to say, yeah, thank you so much for uh, supporting as always, and I'll skip the whole shtick <laughs> about doing the things on YouTube, but uh, yeah. I'll do different things over on YouTube this year. I do want to get more into content. Uh, that is just me talking about stuff, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, Enjoy the festivities, and I'll see you when you catch up to 2024. Alright chat, I'm gonna head off for the evening. So yeah, I'll see you soon.